Hello, welcome to Dicey Guy review. As a painting light, this is extremely good for making videos straight off the box. I don't know, can you see the flickering on your screen? We are going to look at the Hobby Lamp LED Lamp Dark Black from Green Stuff World. And uh, a big ups to tabletop battle.no for sending me this. Also a big up for a Ripper and miniatures.com. And as always, you guys, the Patreons, you are the most amazing backbone of uh, the Dicey Guy. And a special shout out today to one of the random Patreons. And I'm going to take Andreas. Andreas Mikkelsen, thank you for being there. Okay, let's open this bad boy up and see how it goes. It says it's uh, no glare. I have one, uh, there you can see the lamp and it's a uh, glary. And let's see if this is a glary. So this is how it looks and this is how the, the back side of it looks. A nuke, <laughs> a, a nuke. <laughs> let's see if we can. Whoop. Change the camera up a little bit. Okay, like so. Yeah, uh, a unique arch-shaped LED lamp with a solid fireproof plastic frame is ideal for shadowless painting and photography. Hey, that's good. That's kind of what we are trying to do here. Showing off uh, miniatures, playing cards, showing cards, stuff like that. Um, it's a strip of 78 LED lights offered smooth and even cool white illumination for your project workbench i'm 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 feeling it i've used a circle thing here and it, it kind of do, uh, i don't know if i can show you that this yeah there you go and i uh, you know it is what it is it's okay but yeah let's show it you can see the glare so this is how that looks. So it uh, it's a good light source, but it kind of gives a glare, you know, on the things you want to show. So if I want to show a, a card, there can be some issues with it when I'm playing um, uh, online with my friends, Commander. So uh, yeah, this I hope this will do a double duty on all the things. Turning off that again. We are going to ch check it out and see how it is. It's uh, It has a di dimmer, it has a ventilation hatches. You can follow green stuff world here and there. Oh, the plastic is actually... You can tear it up with your hands. So, you don't need anything. It has uh, 50,000 hours. And it looks like it has a very nice... Um, full white spectrum here for the lights. So yeah, I'm very interested in this. Let's see how it goes. It is 73 centimeters uh, height and 63 centimeters wide and 36 centimeters up. Uh, I don't know what it is in like uh, American uh, foot and thumbnails and uh, whatnot. <laughs> You're so crazy, Americans. I love you. <laughs> okay, so, so we have a jacket here. And in the jacket, if you open up the jacket, you will actually, you can see here. <clears throat> you slide up the jacket and inside the jacket is a uh, the manual for for it it's it's actually uh, i think that's a genius uh, the green screen is taking off the greens okay uh, actually a very nice way of uh, telling you how it is and you can see this is the uh, norwegian sockle here i don't know uh, you you probably have to order for your standard system where you are from and there are 23 pieces to this, so they are going to be a little assembling. And we are going to do everything right here on the channel right now. So buckle up. 23 pieces. We are miniature uh, builder and painter, so that should be no problems. I guess the most of you that are looking at this video are also into miniatures and or 
photo photography or e. Okay. I, I like the box. Box is good. Is it the right height for magic cards? Uh, it's a little low for that, but okay. And here we have some things we can use when you're painting. You can use it for rust effect and stuff like that. Good, good, good. Here we have the strips. The power source. source. Okay. The feet. And they, they have a little bit of weight to them. They... Uh, they're about the same as my mouse and my head piece. So they have a little bit heft to them. And that's good. That means it's going to be stable, hopefully. And then we have all, all the pieces that, that makes an arc. So let's console the instruction manual and it's actually saying put everything into each other and then put the strip in and then you are good to go. So do you get this on camera? Let's see. It has a good weight to it. And uh, they are actually very good fit to the build of the plastic. There's like, a, you just hit the right spot and it slides in without any like hard, you don't have to press extremely hard. Okay, <clears throat> now the arch is done. I have to put it on my lap a little bit and then we are, then we are going to put in this one, I guess. Let's see, there are some more things to it. Okay. What's this? These are for the end pieces, okay. Okay, something to hold it steady with. And here the lead pieces are. Okay, so you can see how that looks. Okay. Actually, it's glue, okay. So, what to do? Let's see. <laughs> Maybe I need to redo what I have just done. Maybe I went in too fast. Okay, yeah, so this will be placed inside this and you have to navigate it to be in a good spot and it should be in, there should be enough room on both sides, so two of these, can you see the one, two on both sides should be without the strips and the rest is okay. Uh, these are foot ends that should be glued into this to make it the more sturdy. So, <clears throat> okay. just trying to uh, take it uh, 
as slow as I can, so without. I think we are going to do this pace right now, so they will have a good. Be good than uh, what you call it. I want the, the glue on the sticker thing to just melt into it, to the socket. Feels very sturdy, feels very, very nice, and kind of try to be careful not rushing this too much so we do it properly should probably have cleaned up my table a little bit more make room for everything plan ahead what's that you say i don't know okay, so we are getting it ready like so okay <clears throat> some room so and then this we put it upside down let's see Okay, so the next thing I want to do, go like so, so I have one end on this side and one end like this, and this side with the female part of it should, uh, should be the way you put in for the uh, wire. And then you have the thing. That should be easy, but okay. I'm going to, it's probably going to be a little bit quiet while I try to do this part. Uh, evening, dicey in the dark. Yes. And we are getting, we are making um, probably uh, arc LED lamp, dark black. And uh, hopefully this will be very nice with no glare. And uh, hopefully it will be a good upgrade from what I have. Um, so we will see how it goes and I'm, I'm trying to now build it as it uh, should be. I'm actually going to take the two sides of it to make it easier to build on. And then we are going to glue the lead on this part. The lead uh, strips should cover all these things and the lead strip is having uh, is having uh, the M3 glue to it also. By the way, how are you, my man? So we are going to try to to make this as good as we can on the first go. Let's see, and there should be. Those should be connected to. Okay. How many of those are there? One, two. One, two, and one, two. Okay. So I wanted to start on this end. Let's see if we can get it in shot. So. And we're going to go in the center of it and then and just uh, go down like so and let's see what's the whole one today they wanted it to be a 
like so. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to confirm. Where should be overdose? Okay. Like so and then we want to pull a little bit more and just try to work it in the center of it. Okay. Now we can take off the rest and it should line up. It, yeah. Okay, the information was a little bit uh, not valid. It said it's just going to take eight of them and it's clearly a little bit over it. You can see it there. So. I blindly trusted the information given to me by a piece of paper and it was wrong. It should be a little overlap on the one side there to be totally correct. But it is what it is and we are going to leave it as it is. It's not uh, the end of the world as we know it. I feel like the um, <laughs> manual lied to me a little bit. Okay. So, okay. Like so, and then it should be, it says, um, let's see, now we should put uh, this one to hide. Does it say it said both of them? Okay, so it's going to be Let's see. Just trying to figure out what this actually is saying to me. Then I wanted it to be. So, okay, and then I got the uh, one going there, okay, then on the other side just to look, make it look uh, same, same. So the pieces are Piece like uh, quality plastic. And I have a good way through it, so that's good. I'm extremely interested in seeing how the lights are, so we're almost there. And now we have built it. This is how it looks when you are building it. Boom. There you can see the wire and inside. Now we are going to connect it to power and we are going to see how good it is. 
So, let's see. So, we are connected. This is the piece that goes into this piece. Sorry. Like so. And then it goes into that piece. Like so. There it is, and it's lights on. It's a very cool light. It is actually are glimmering on my screen. But let's, uh, um, that's something about the software, I think. But we are going to check out the glare effect. Ah, it, it is glaring. Okay. But it's um, not that bad. And let's see. Finding a miniature. That's very good lights for that. Yes. I like that. Yeah, this is going to be great for painting videos. The only thing we need to figure out is how to get the flickering uh, off screen and we are going to check it out. But um, let's see. Okay, the lights can be very bright. And we can tune it down. So, uh, with the naked eye, it's beautiful. On video, I need to check out why it does the flickering stuff. I don't know. Uh, I need to work work a little bit around that and find out what's what's about that. But uh, yeah, as a, a equipment for painting miniatures, uh, yeah, this is better. It's extremely nice and flat light up from all over um, let's see oh that's trippy okay green filter we should take off but you can see it's uh It's a very, very nice light. So this is how it looks without the light. Uh, yeah. I, I th it's a extremely, as a painting light, this is extremely good. For making videos straight off the box. I don't know. Can you see the flickering on your screen? <laughs> is that... Yeah, okay, that's me not connecting them good enough. But yeah. We are, I'm going to test this out. I'm going to do some painting with this, uh, but I need to check out why, why it's flickering. I, I need to see uh, if it's flickering. I can't see any flickering on my my screen here but yeah I'm I'm actually extremely a very much uh, like how flat the lights are and we need to have it a little bit off center for when I'm playing commander cards but yeah, this is going to be very nice for what I'm going to use this for. For when I play Commander and showing magic cards. Have it a little bit off center. So not straight down, but a little off center. That would be very nice. It will glare under under it because of the 